Hello, a few weeks ago I made this storage for under my sink in the bathroom and it made me think of other things I can do and what I think is I can have a tray to go over the bath. So, let's get on with that. So to make this, what I've got is a bit of zapili. This piece is not far off the length I actually need, but I need two pieces. So the first job, I'm just gonna rip it in half and then I can get it cross cut to its final length. Doing all this on the table saw. After cutting that in half, I can see it's way chunkier than I want it to be. So I'm gonna rip it down on the table saw in half as well the other way. These bits of wood need to hook over the edge of the bath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark in six centimeters and 12 centimeters and halfway up. And then what I'm gonna do is draw a curve between the six and the 12 centimeter mark. Now, to get these curves out, I'm just gonna use the bandsaw. I have the curves cut, now they need a sand down. And what I have is one of these spindle sanders. So I'm gonna get this chucked up in the drill and sand the curves and then sand the rest of it with just the random orbital sander. It's sanded, but the edges need cleaning up, so I'm going to get the bits put in the vise and grab the hand plane to do those. These two bits now need joining together. Now I had a little think of how to do it, because I made one of these years ago and I had a flat base with holes in, because you need the water to be able to drain out of it, so that led me to thinking I could use some dowels. So I'd need to buy some, but then I realised what I had was some brass rod. I thought that would look great. So what I'm going to do is mark out where the rods need to go. Those brass rods are six mil, so I've got a six mil bit in the drill and I need to drill down on those marks I've made. I've got it set up so the drill bit is just gonna go slightly more than halfway through the wood. So now I can just drill down on all these marks I've made.
The brass rods now need cutting down to size and I'm going to go for 16 centimetres. So I'm just going to get these in the vise and cut them with a hacksaw. Now I can get some of these in, but it needs locking together somehow. And what I'm gonna do for that is there needs to be bits at the end. Now I've got the rods in, I can work out where the gap at the end is and get some bits of wood cut to get go in there. Right, time to get this all put together. So, I'm gonna get all the rods put in one side and then try and get the other side lined up, which I know is gonna be tricky, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Now, onto these little blocks, I'm gonna get some wood glue on either side and then get them slid into place. Some clamps can then go on and we're just gonna leave this a few hours for the glue to go off. This had a chance to dry, but these bits I glued in are not going to be very strong. So I'm going to reinforce them. And what I'm going to do is use some more brass rod. So I'm just going to cut down some shorter bits of this rod. I'm just going to mark out where these pins need to go and then I can get the holes drilled back at the pillar drill. dab of CA glue can go into each of the holes and then I can get my brass rods tapped down into place. I left all these rods a bit long so now I can just give them a trim off. I've given this all a sand down, so now it's time for some finish. And what I'm gonna do is build up a couple of coats of pure tongue oil. finish is all dry on this so last job just get it put in place. This should not be the trickiest installation in the world. So that's it all done. Another little simple thing to tidy up the bathroom. Now I just need to fill it up. So thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind some privacy.